Good morning, Saints Peter and Paul. Um, I wanted to start off today by thanking everyone who did flower orders. We tripled the number of flowers that we sold from last year. Um, even in the middle of a crisis, you guys are amazing. You always come through, and um, I can't wait to see so many of you on Friday to pick up your flowers. It is going to be asked that you do social distance. Um, if you stay in your cars, we will come up to your car and get your order for you as fast as possible. Um, and if you do have to get out because you have a large order, I know some people have like 30 baskets to pick up, um, we're going to ask that you wear a mask. Um, and we're going to wear masks to protect you, and we ask that you do the same for us. So I cannot wait to see a lot of you on Friday. Um, it should be a great time. And remember, that's from 4 to 5 p.m. So let's start off our Thursday in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. From Jesus Calling. If you learn to trust me, really trust me with all your heart and soul, then nothing can separate you from my peace. I can use all your problems, even huge ones, to train you in trusting me. This is how you defeat the evil one. You let me use the problems he throws your way to make you stronger. Remember Joseph? His jealous brothers sold him into slavery in Egypt, but he never stopped trusting me. So I was able to use that terrible thing to save not only Joseph and his family, but a whole nation of people. Don't be afraid of what this day, or any day, might bring. Put your energy into trusting me. Remind yourself that I am in complete control, and I can bring good out of any situation. A reading from the book of Psalms. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord. For you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all my en enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life. And your house will be my home as long as I live. The word of the Lord. And let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For those suffering from the coronavirus, that they might be healed, let us pray to the Lord. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who are serving the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they may be filled with the wisdom and understanding of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the last day this week that you guys will be getting new instruction from your teachers. Tomorrow is your day to catch up. Um, I know some of you are having a hard time kind of keeping up with things, so we built in a day for you to be able to get that work done. A lot of teachers are having Zoom hours tomorrow. Um, if you have questions about anything, just let them know, and they will schedule the time, and they can one-on-one -on -one Zoom with you and do a little bit of independent work with you um, to help you get caught up. That's what we're here for. So there will be morning prayer tomorrow. It will not go out at 7 in the morning. It'll probably be a little bit closer to 8 or 9, just because it's kind of your day to take a breath, relax, get caught up, and know that we believe in you, and we know that you can get this done. Um, I can't wait to see you guys whenever we can see you guys. I know it's really hard, but know that we're almost there. We're almost done, and I know you guys can do this. We'll see you soon.